In this video lesson, I'm going to be taking a look at mirroring an existing logical volume. So let's just assume that we had a logical volume that we created earlier and then later on decided it would be a good idea to mirror it. I'm going to go through that process and I'm also going to run into a problem with the way that the mirroring is going to happen because of the amount of disk space I've already taken up. So let me go through this process and explain some of the methods we have to still create the mirror. If I run sudo lvs, I can see previous logical volumes from the last lessons that I've done. So I'm just going to remove that with LV remove my data VG volume one LV. And I'm going to be running through these commands kind of quickly because we've already covered these multiple times throughout this video series. To create a new one, I'll say LV create. I'll go ahead and use the dash little L and say I want 100% free. Give it the same name, volume one LV that we've been using here throughout the lesson. Put that in my data group called my data VG. And I'll say that I want 100% free of dev SD. We'll say B as in Bravo. Now I have a logical volume. I'm going to add a file system to this as well because I plan on adding a file to it that we can come back and check to make sure that we still have that file after we've done our mirror. sudo mkfs.ext4. That's the file system I'll use, and let's give it the file path, my data vg, volume one lv. It now has a file system. If I go into cd into my mnt directory, I should have, there we go, directories left over from a previous lesson as well. So I'll just go ahead and mount that to storage one. So dev, my data vg, and then volume one lv. So my volume group and then my logical volume in the path. And we'll put that into MNT storage one. All right, what am I missing here? Oh, the mount command. There we go. Now if I run DF, I can see that my logical volume here, volume one, is mounted to MNT storage one. If I see the into storage one now, I can create a file that I can check back later and make sure it's still there. So I'll say dd, we'll say input file equals dev, let's just do randomness, so urandom. The output file is going to equal, we'll just say file one, put a bs of one megabyte and a count of five, and this is going to give us now a five megabyte file. And I do need to run this with sudo if you don't have privileges. Okay, ls-la. And I have a file one with five megabytes now. If I type in CD, it will take me back to my home directory. So I'm out of that folder to work with. Let's go ahead and run the command to create the mirror. That's going to be LV convert. There's an option called dash M, which is how many mirrors I want. And since I have zero mirrors at the moment, if I do M1, this will create a single mirror. I can now identify the volume group that I want. So my data VG slash, and then the logical volume, volume one LV. And I can also identify which drive I want it to mirror or put the mirror on. So I can put dev SDC here. If I hit enter, it tells me that this is a great idea. In fact, it says two images enhances my resilience. So I'll hit Y. And this is where I get my error. It tells me that I need one more extent and I have zero available. If I run a couple commands, I can see what I've got available. So if I run sudo vg display, I can see in this particular command, this is my logic or my volume group itself. I can see that I'm using currently 255 physical extents, but I still have 765 free. So it's not telling me that I don't have any physical extents left within my volume group. It's telling me I don't have any physical extents left on my logical volume. If I run sudo lv display, We'll do the dash M option. When I look at this, I can see that I have all of my physical extents used up on my physical volume. So when we're doing this conversion, what it's wanting to do is it's wanting to take an available extent on this disk drive and then create an area that it can record the log information for my synchronization. And there just are none available. My first option is I could shrink my logical volume down by an extent and then it would work. The problem with that is I'd also have to shrink my file system down as well. And not all file systems can be shrunk down. So I don't like that option at all. The other option that I have is rather than running this command as is, 
I can go back to an older way of doing a mirror rather than using the RAID system that we have now that's newer, I can go ahead and use a legacy option. So let me go ahead and modify that for that. I can do dash dash type, we'll say mirror, and rather than using part of my hard drive to write this synchronization log, I can tell it to put the log in memory. That'll be dash dash core log. All right, if I run this command now, it should go through the process of creating my mirror. So my log that's keeping track of all the synchronization between the mirrors is now in memory. Okay, now that it's done, I can run the lsblk command and I can see my disk drive information here. So I see that it's taking up my data, um, VG volume one LV, it says M image zero is gonna be on SDB and then my mirrored image is gonna be on SDC. Now, if I go back to my information, let's see, sudo LV display dash M, I can also see the information there as well. So it's now on, it's a mirror that's on two drives and I can see that it's got mirror image zero and mirror image one. I'm gonna convert this back to a single drive image. And I can do that by running the same command, sudo LV convert. This time we'll say dash M and we'll say zero. So I'm, I no longer want any mirrors. I'm gonna say my data, VG, volume one, LV. Okay, if I run this command, it's converted it back to a linear format. So if I run sudo LV display dash M, I can see that it now says under my segments that it is a linear type rather than a mirror. And if I run sudo lsblk, I can also see that all of my data now is on dev sdb rather than it being mirrored on dev sdb and sdc. So let me show you yet another way to do this mirror. If I go back to my original command, I'm gonna take out the last drive here. And rather than saying core log, I have yet another option. So rather than putting the log information in memory, what I could do is tell it to write it to disk. So I can say dash dash mirror, let's say I actually have two dashes, mirror log, and then I can say put that on a disk. And if I hit enter, it's now gonna go through the process here of converting that as well. All right, if I run sudo lsblk now, I can kind of get an idea of what happened. So I can see that it's still mirrored from SDB to SDC, and it created some information on SDE it actually put the m log directory on there or m, m log information on there. So there's my log information. So that's rather than writing it to the systems memory, I can write it now to somewhere else on my system that's in my volume group. Let's remove one of these logical volumes for, or one of these physical volumes from the mirror and just have a plain linear again, see if my data is still there. So last time I removed it, I did LV convert dash M zero and I removed the mirror and I let the system decide which drive to remove and it removed the second drive I had. I can actually go back and remove the mirror from the first drive as well. So I can say dev sdb and this should now convert my logical volume back to a single linear volume and remove now dev sdb. Let's find out if that's what happened. sudo lsblk and I can see all of my data now resides on dev sdc. All right, let's check to make sure my data still is there because after all of this stuff, did I lose anything? I'll cd into mnt, storage one, I'll run an ls-lah, and there's my file one. It is still there. Now let me show you what I could do to have prevented this from happening and having to go back through this old way of doing it. I'll go ahead and type in cd. I'm going to remove this logical volume that I have, lv remove, my data vg volume one lv oh it says that i have a file system in use so let me unmount it first you mount mnt storage one and now i can delete that logical volume so when i run pvs or pseudo pvs I can see that all of my drives are 1,020 megabytes. And if I want to do this and, and just think about it ahead of time, 
if I ever plan on using an entire disk, but maybe want to convert it to RAID later on, I just need to leave one extent available or left alone. And if you can't remember what the extent sizes are, you can run sudo vg display. And it does tell me that my physical extent size is four megabytes or PE size is four megabytes in size. So I just need to leave back four megabytes. So when I go to create this now, let's do PBS, rather than 1020, let's just cut back four megabytes on this one. So let's say L, sudo LV create, I'll do dash capital L this time, 1000, let's use 16 megabytes in size. I'll do dash N, volume one, LV, and then that's gonna be on my data VG. It tells me that there's already information from a previous file system. I'll go ahead and wipe it. And if I run sudo v LV display, dash M. It did create it on dev SDB at the bottom here. You see segments and I'm using some zero to 253. And there is a total of 254 or zero to 254. So um, I actually have an extent that is now free. If I want to create the mirror this time around, I can run just the LV convert. Dash M one for my mirror, type in my data VG and say volume one LV. And now as a result with that one extent less or available left on my drive, I can go ahead and run this command. Let me run that with pseudo privileges. I'll go ahead and say yes. And it has successfully gone through the process now of creating a mirror. So I just needed that one single extent left on that drive pseudo We'll say LV display dash M. And you can see that it's now using instead of mirror image, RAID image zero and RAID image one. And there's metadata information now for those extents that are on my drives to convert this. All right, that concludes this video on creating a mirror of an existing logical volume.